Design is a concept of creativity that is the future of mankind. Design is everything. Design is the chair you're sitting in. Design is the projector showing you this presentation. Design is the building you're watching this presentation in. The point is, someone had to make all of this. Someone had to design all of this. It's all coming from an idea straight from the individual's mind. And the concept ranges to everything in the world. Buildings, cars, phones, music, movies, and life. As author Daniel H. Pink said in his book, A Whole New Mind, design in its simplest form is the activity of creating solutions. Design is something we do every single day. And he's right. You are currently designing at this moment. We design our own future, making it unique, unlike anyone else's. We can fail, or we can succeed. The unique thing about design in our life is we can design our own outcome. In the intro to the design concept, author Daniel H. Pink begins by explaining the evolution of ages humanity has gone through, such as the agricultural age, the industrial age, the information age, and the conceptual age. Humankind and its strive to have an abundance of a specific thing has made the concept of design so valuable. Early civilizations developed and designed ways to grow mass amounts of food just to survive. Then the industrial age, creating new economies and buildings at a mass scale. Then the information age, the advancement of business and research. Nowadays in the conceptual age, there is something new coming out every single day. We use our existing resources to recreate and make new things, such as games, computers, new music, new TV shows, and new forms of entertainment. And everything is designed by the people. In fact, design is so prevalent in the world that there are now schools that base their entire curriculum around this very important concept. Their math classes include design, their history classes center around it, and almost every course in the system includes this process in one way or another. As Daniel Pink says, welcome to CHAD, the Charter High School for Architecture and Design, a tuition-free Philadelphia public school that is demonstrating the power of design to expand young minds, while also puncturing the myth that design is the province of a select few. The school uses design as a basis, and this not only leads to better test results, but a far better attendance rate in the inner city Philadelphia school. This shows how powerful design can be, not only in what it creates, but in the demonstrations of unlocking the brain to create a smarter, happier student body than the average. Pink includes in his book the actual statistics, saying, while the typical Philadelphia public high school has a daily attendance rate of 63%, at Chad it's 95. This outstanding jump demonstrates the power that focusing on the right side of the brain, specifically in the design category, can have when it comes to adolescence. Design is not only a viewable concept that is all around us, it is also a powerful force that can influence the creativity and excitement of people. Daniel Pink also believes that design is currently what is creating a rift in economics. He believes that it is no longer about what can perform better or what product is cheaper, but what is made in a nicer, more polished way that will sell. He believes that this is true for every part of industry, from cars to electronics to food and beverages. In fact, he is not the only one who believes this, and he goes on to mention a head of business for General Motors in stating, let's famously declare that GM was in the art business, and worked to make designers the equal of engineers. GM is following a model curve here, showing how if something is designed well, it can be marketed and sold better than its more poorly designed cousins. In fact, many companies are following this trend, some of the major ones being GM, BMW, and Sony. Like Pink said, the forces of abundance turn goods and services into commodities so quickly that the only way to survive is by constantly developing new innovations, inventing new categories, and giving the world something it didn't know it was missing.